Growing up, did you ever hide information or lie to your parents? <laughs> All the time, doesn't everyone? Did they snoop on me? I mean, not that I know of, but probably. Wendy Rote studied 174 pairs of moms and teens, including 111 pairs that also included dads. She wanted to know how much information kids willingly offer up and how parents get the other details they're looking for. Rote and her team found 5 to 7 percent of the families were what they called covert communicators. These were kids who were doing much more um, lying and um, they also did some avoidance, some, some uh, only telling partial elements of it. Some parents in these families snooped to get their information, checking the teens' phones and computers. Covert communicators had the most depression and the most negative interactions with their parents. 12% of the mother-teen pairs were indirect communicators, telling their parents some details and leaving some out. And 82% were open communicators, meaning teens offered parents information without being asked and had the most positive parent-teen interactions. Rote says families can take incremental steps toward open communication. Set um, an open expectation with the teen that, you know, every week we're going to look through your phone history log um, so that it's at least not behind their back. Explain to your teen why it's important that you know where they are and who they're communicating with online. Ask them at least three questions every day. It helps establish a healthy pattern of communication. I'm Nancy Alvarez reporting.